Welcome back to the third and final game of the IPL Season 1 Losers Round 2 matchup between EG Axlab and EG in control. Now, both of these players have won a game in the series, and now one of these players is going to be out of the tournament. Now, in any other situation versus a rival team or any other team, you're going to be happy to eliminate a player from the competition. But in this case, EG will lose one player from the IPL Season 1, and that is never a good thing to see, especially difficult when two players have to knock one another out of the tournament. EG Axlav is our red Protoss. He's spawning in the east position here on Metalopolis. And hold on a second. We already have an early pylon going out here by EG Axlav. Is he going to... Uh, proxy a, a gateway perhaps we do have eg in control here basically doing uh what he typically does in the opening uh right now he is up at 12 probes and or 12 supply he's gonna throw down his gateway and uh yes oh my goodness gateway going down and uh wow so um this could be really bad for in control let's see in control is uh, going ahead and scouting here in this situation and uh, we'll see exactly what he's going to go for now i find this so okay 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 here's why here's why the protoss player can do this axlav because we are on a map where there are only two places your opponent can spawn if you are axlav and you spawn here your opponent either spawns here or he either spawns over here, thus making third base a great place for a proxy anything. As you can easily attack both bases, here comes the probe, which, hey, that's about normal probe timing. But what's waiting over here are two gateways that are going to pump out units very quickly. You can see a zealot being chrono boosted out here. Now in control, we're just going to have to see what he builds. He does not have a, a psi core down yet. There it goes. Oh, we put down a second gateway. Okay. I wonder, uh, he has not scouted that, but I, w I wonder if he thinks there might be some shenanigans going on. Out comes the first Zealot. This is going to be some serious, serious micro wars going on right here as he does have a probe and a Zealot. Zealot does get him out of there. We have another Zealot on the way, but this is where the bad news is going to come in. As two more Zealots on the way, immediately in control is going to know. Oh, no. This is a... This is a proxy right here. We have the a Forge going down, which is the right response. Try to get a cannon up. He's going to try to go after that pylon, which would be incredibly crippling here. But his three Zealots come in, and one falls. Will Axlav lose this Zealot? Yes, he does. Probes are pulled. He tries to keep them inside the base. He's going to be able to micro those around as two more Zealots make their way in. Forge is down. Does he have enough to build a cannon? No, not yet. He's going to have to force a fight here against all these probes. They will take out both of those Zealots. It comes another one. And uh, if he takes out that pylon, it would be big. In Control actually doing a good job holding this off here. The question is, is how long can he do it and how, in be or how behind will uh, in control actually be microing those zealots very very nicely but it is one zealot versus oh no it come two more fully helped zealots and this is going to be terrible as these zealots uh get their shields back there is another one out here the forge is down but he still doesn't even have enough to drop down uh, a cannon he's got to fight with his probes and versus these zealots everything is going to fall it won't even matter, Chrono Boost or not. And now there are just too many Axlav Zealots. No, In Control did get another Zealot out right there. Axlav, wow. What do you got coming out of here? Two more Zealots coming out. Looking at the probe count, though, and the cannon is up as well. Three Zealots, two Zealots, six probes to 14 probes. Axlav in the lead. What is going to happen here? Oh, my gosh. We got a proxy pylon going in over here. Of course, there is no uh, there is no Psycor, so it's not like he's going to be able to do anything. Oh, but he could put a gateway here. He could build another gateway here or a forge. We do have the Psycor going down in the back. He does not have vision of this. He's going to throw. Oh my God! A reverse cannon rush. Oh my God! In control is going over here. There is actually nothing here protecting the probes of Axlav. Meanwhile, he we will see Axlav moving in. He does have this one cannon right here. Probes are going to go in versus Axlav. In control cannot move, lose any of his probes either. 
Zealots are going to move forward. There are now two Zealots versus two Zealots, and In Control brings them back to his cannons, and they will do some damage, but here come the Zealots through the back. They're going beating on a Assimilator, but will it matter? Oh my gosh, he's got to pull those probes. He can't let those probes die. They're going to have to go after the cannon. Meanwhile, some more damage being done here by In Control. In Control is going to have a couple more cannons up, but if he loses those probes, it is over. Oh, those Zealots are going to have to return back home. Oh my gosh. What, what, what could plot? I think that In Control has this. We've got more Zealots making their way in. The cannon is hurt. No more Zealots coming out. Oh, he's got two Stalkers. He's going to go after these, uh, this cannon. They're going to block it from getting at the cannon. And he's microing those Stalkers very, very well. If Axelab takes out that cannon, oh my god, it's going to be over now. It's basically going to be a race between these Zealots and this Nexus, but he just needs to get as much money as he possibly can. He's got 670 minerals right now, and that's going to be enough to build an army or rebuild a Nexus. It is going to take out the Psycor, but look at over here as his Nexus will fall. I think that In Control will realize that there will be nothing that he can do. Axelab can rebuild. Right now, 100 minerals for In Control. He cannot build any more cannons, so he's just going to have to take out these pylons, and uh, he would not be able to go over here and take this out either. Um, so I just think that... Um, this is over. We're going to have the Stalkers moving out. They're going to go take care of those Zealots, and that will probably be game. Uh, it does look like he's going to spend the money on one more Zealot. He thinks, I, if I could take this out and save my Nexus, maybe I got a chance. I don't know how he's going to do that because the Zealot can't mine minerals. Yep, and Control realizes that he's dead. And there it is. GG, an unbelievable game. And that is uh, why PvP can be so exciting. Yes, it can be a lot of 4-gate action, a lot of 3-gate robo, but it can also be a lot of proxy goodness. And Axlav wins it with a 2-gate proxy. In Control tries to counter with a reverse cannon rush or a, a cannon counter. And uh, unfortunately, he just does have enough. He does not have enough income to continue on with the game. So Axlab moves on and stays alive. EG in control. He had a decent run, but he is eliminated from the IPL Season 1. I'm DJ Wheat, and we'll see you next time.